Hey everybody, it's Mary Cheney, Marketing Manager here at VoIP Supply, and today we're going to be unboxing Viking Electronics Red VoIP Emergency Phone with Enhanced Weather Protection. So let's see what's in the box. All right, here we have our quick start guide with all of the parts that you should have in the box. So it looks like there's a little package here that has our wire nut, the gel filled butt connectors, your hex key, all there. And then let's pull the device out. Here's the device. And the back panel is actually secured in here. So to get it out, you just have to take a screwdriver, unwind that a little bit, and this, this can come off. So that's what's in the box. Now let's learn a little bit more about the actual device. The Viking Electronics Red VoIP Emergency Phone with Enhanced Weather Protection comes with the following features. Automatic polling and programming software is included, two amp relay contacts to control an SL-2 strobe light, or a LV-1K line verification panel. This device has a red call connected LED indicator. It is a SIP compliant product. It is powered by PoE. It has an automatic noise canceling feature for proper operation in noisy and Environments. It has network downloadable firmware, hands-free operation, and this device meets ADA requirements for an emergency phone, transmits a unique location ID code for voice announcement, and it is also designed with grade 2 braille label for the visually impaired. This device can be programmed with up to five numbers and can be remotely managed. Ideal applications for this device are as follows. Elevators, parking ramps, emergency pool phones, ATM machines, medical centers, lobbies, entryways, campus emergency stations, stadiums, convention centers, and public access areas. This device also has the following certifications. EWP, IP66, CE, Canada ICES, FCC Part 15, ADA, and SIP. Okay, now we're going to pass this over to our VoIP engineer to show you how to get this device up and running. Thank you, Mary. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how easy it's going to be to SIP register the Viking IP device. For demonstration purpose, I'm going to use Sangoma's PB Exact. Uh, first, I've already created myself an extension. The Viking has an internal tool that you can download from their website, and this will find the device on the local area network or a VLAN. Currently, I have the device SIP unregistered and I have the alarm indicating and beeping why because it is SIP unregistered. Go ahead and uh, connect to the device. And it knows that I'm about to SIP register and it says silent current alarm, yes. So currently you're given this by default. You can see the name of the device, the MAC address, and the local IP. And over here, under phone numbers, codes, and audio, once the device is registered and you push the call button, you can have it dial an extension or a phone number. For demonstration purpose, I have a soft phone registered as 1000. Almost every single change that you go to make on this device, it will kick you back to the IP programming interface. Just connect again. And now let's go ahead and SIP register our device. In order to do that, you go over to IP settings. Out of box, it goes by DHCP. You can set it static. You can register this device if you were to run your own SIP server, local PC, or out to a host. I'm going to connect to my SIP server. 172.98.192.142. Now, this does not connect to an outbound proxy. However, it says if it does not, add the address anyways. And then the username is the extension that you created for the device. And then the call ID, I'm just going to say EP911. And that's the emergency box phone. Okay, if everything looks good, go ahead and apply.
Okay, the two beeps indicated that it should be SIP registered. Connect back to it. Okay, go over to the alarm firmware default tools because this is basically the status of what it's gonna show. So right now it is uh, SIP registered. And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna push the call button and it should ring my phone. Hi, this Hi. is Joe. And there you have it. I was able to call from the Viking IP emergency phone. Once you push the button, you can set, also set a phone number here. I have an incoming phone number and I can make it hit a ring group, call another IP Viking device. Now internally with the phone settings, uh, currently with the relay, if I was to activate the relay, I have it so it will make an outbound call. You can check out these settings. Um, there's a lot of internal external relays to work with on the board. You can set it as a door strike, make outbound call, inbound outbound call, doorbell, LV1K control, ring or ring flash. Currently, the if I was to make an inbound call, it would auto answer. Let me go ahead and call the device's extension from my Sangoma phone. Hello, 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 check, check. When the button or the phone call is made, it shows that it's only going to last for three minutes. Um, you can make it last one minute up to nine minutes. Every change that you make, it will beep at you because I have that set. I can show you how to disable that as well. So under the alarm firmware default tools, being that the device is SIP registered, current alarm status is idle. Alarm mute. Enable alarm beeps. So right now my alarm is muted, so we'll no longer hear those beeps. And then you also have the permanent alarm mute, where tones are disabled or enabled. Okay, let's connect back to the device. So with here, being that it called 1000, you can have it call up to one, two, three, four, five numbers. Here are the security phone codes. And then you can also upload an audio file. Back to you, Mary. Thanks, Joe. That was awesome. If you're looking for more information about this Viking Electronics device, check out the links in the description below. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.